We do begin with the parenting YouTube influencer Jody Hildebrandt pleading guilty to child abuse in a Washington County courtroom just nine days ago. Her associate Ruby Frankie also pled guilty. With more, we are hearing from Southern Utah correspondent Garrett James, who has more on that plea deal. Garrett. Today, the Connections Classroom YouTuber pled guilty to four counts of aggravated child abuse. To count six, also aggravated child abuse, a second degree felony. Guilty. This plea deal comes only nine days after Ruby Frankie pled guilty to the same four counts of aggravated child abuse. The Washington County District Attorney spoke with us about what happened in the courtroom today. So this morning, Jody Hildebrandt pleaded guilty to four counts of aggravated child abuse. She will remain incarcerated awaiting sentencing, which will occur on February 20th, 2024. This comes after police arrested Frankie and Hildebrandt back in August of 2023 after Frankie's 12-year-old son escaped through a window of Hildebrandt's home and ran to a neighbor's home looking for food and water. The police report states the son was severely malnourished and had deep lacerations from being tied up with a rope. Police say Frankie's 10-year-old daughter was also found in the home with very similar injuries. Hildebrandt's attorney spoke about why she took a plea agreement. She has pled guilty because she wants, she did not want these children to have to testify. She takes responsibility. And it is her main concern at this point that these children can heal, both physically and emotionally. Two viewers of the Eight Passengers YouTube channel were in the courtroom today that traveled all the way from Salt Lake City. I asked them what their reaction was when the news came out about their arrest. This is what they told me. It was very shocking, but I almost wasn't surprised. I was more surprised knowing, like, I grew up watching these kids, like, wanting to meet their family. I loved their channel, and when it all surfaced, I just broke my heart. Both Allison and Aubrey just want the kids to be able to heal. I hope those kids can find peace and heal, and obviously after all of this trauma, they're going to be affected the rest of their lives, but hopefully they're able to find you know, some help and people that are there to support them and get all the resources and help that they can, they need and hopefully they're able to heal and move on as much as they can. Both Ruby Frankie and Jody Hildebrandt will remain in jail until their sentencing. Both have their sentencing date set for February 20th, 2024 at the 5th Judicial District Courthouse, Garrett James, ABC4 News.